Emmett was born healthy. At 18 months old, he lost the ability to walk. 100 plus doctor visits later, he received a diagnosis called Crab A, a fatal condition in which the nervous system disappears. During the diagnostic odyssey, Emmett lost the ability to talk, eat, crawl, and sit up on his own. He was in uncontrolled pain. He then lost his eyesight, some of his hearing, and now has half a dozen seizures a day. <laughs> Emmett is now a proud big brother and spends the majority of his day laying in the same spot on the couch. We're now going to see a brother who you've seen before. Got a bit of a pressure wound on his elbow. And then mm -hmm. by the morning it had blistered and opened. Okay. Um, to the size that you see right there. Yeah. But now Don't it's, touch. now it's getting, uh, looks like it's getting deeper. Okay. We've got redness. We've got, looks like it's probably had a little bit of yellow pus or crusting or whatever. A little serous drainage. Yep. Yeah. A little bit of drainage on it. This could have been a burn. Mm. It could have been a, a pimple that got infected and then raised up and, and popped and you know you lost a layer of skin. It could have happened that way. Or maybe, as you said, it was a constant pressure on the side of his... Or like a friction? A friction thing where you just... Mm -hmm. The same part rubbed enough, which is like a burn, by the way. Yeah. If you rub enough till you get the skin off of there, then that's like a friction burn. Okay. The good news is, really simple to treat, just like you would treat a burn. I'll get you a new prescription. Okay. So you have a jug of Selvadine. We'll do a treatment right now so you see what that's involved. So tell me again, what's going on with the eyes? Uh, he's been getting these little chronic styes. That's a good burp. And then he's got this one that just won't go away. Yeah. The eye doc wants to cut this one wants out, to lance but it. we don't. We're not sure how we feel about that. <laughs> so how's my eye at this point? I had a chronic sty for oh, the last couple months. You can barely see anything. Essentially gone. It's basically gone. There's a little. Actually, you know what? You're right. It is still there. It's still there. So that's over a couple months old. Uh, one of the owners and trainers at our CrossFit gym has had one of these for a couple years. Yeah. yeah. They can come and go. They can be very difficult to, to have them go away completely. Why? Um, I think the nature of a sty is that it's like a little closed infection, almost like a little abscess in a tear duct or sweat gland or whatever. And uh, can you hold the Good job, bud. There we go. That is what's called fast response. That's super mom. You've been doing this for how long? Oh, too long. Way too long. Uh, but you saw that quick response. Nice cough, but doesn't have the reflexes to really be able to handle those secretions. So you just right. get in there and boom, which is amazing. You're Thank doing you. awesome, buddy. So the ophthalmologist eye doctors probably told you to put warm packs. Yes. Probably gave you some antibiotic eye drops you can use. Um, no, I think that's from you, actually. Okay, they came from <laughs> us. Um, and that's really the approach ongoing. Okay. I'd stick with it. Okay. It, there's nothing dangerous going on here. Are you putting any steroid creams in that area? Uh-uh. Good. Because they'll thin the skin, which might make it more friable. Okay. Which is the reason I was asking. Oh, oh my goodness. goodness. Sorry, buddy. That was a little faucet there. So he's getting a continuous tube feeding, is that right? Yep. And it's stay on night? Yes. Okay. So probably, you're, you know what's going on better than anybody. Probably this particular feeding is a little thicker, maybe? 
Um, this is the normal food that he gets every day. Yeah. He's been having a little emesis today, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah, it's a mess. He hasn't pooped for 24 hours. I think mm, he might be a little needs, plugged up. Yeah, some help with that. So okay. we'll do that when we get home. All right. And uh, when you're helping with that, what does that involve? A suppository. Okay. I mean, he's on Like a pediat pediatric glycerin suppository yeah. just to sort of release the pressure from below? Yes. Yeah. He's on Miralax and Senna. Um, yeah, so Emmett's, uh, because of the neurological issues he has involved, probably doesn't have quite normal motility, right, in no. his GI tract. So the, uh, the way you help him along is keep things soft and relieve the pressure with a pediatric glycerin suppository occasionally. How often do you have to do that? Uh, not very often, maybe once or twice a month. Okay, all right. And... Uh, the um, oral medications we give him keeps him pretty regular. Yeah. Has he ever thrown up like that before? Uh, not in a long time. Yeah. Yeah, so I don't know what that's all about. I mean, one would assume that for whatever reason, the what was going through, that's an N, NG tube, right? To the uh, gastric, or is it to the... He's got a G tube. He's, he's yeah. got a G, that's right, G tube, sorry. Yes. And N would be through the nose. Yes. So G tube, there's a little tube that goes right to his stomach. And if the stomach gets too full, so it's not releasing out of the stomach into the small intestine fast enough, it builds up pressure. And the way that came out, it felt like pressure. Yeah. It was just like Yeah. Um, that was explosive. Yeah, that was a lot. So um, we'll have to watch closely. Maybe maybe give it a break here yes. for a couple hours. Yeah. And then maybe chase a little bit of Pedialyte just to loosen things up a little bit. I am. Um, I've already given him some methicone for gas. Uh -huh. And then before, like at 11, I gave him some Zofran because he was still having some small emesis episodes. Okay. Um, and then I turned his food on around 11.30 um, and he'd been tolerating it until so right, now. right now. Well, of course we've been jiggling the heck out of him too. So he has a neurological disorder that um, Basically, toxins build up in his nerves, the nerves die, and body systems slowly shut down over time. Um, there's a treatment available uh, to freeze the process, and there should be a cure coming in the next couple of years. Um, they're starting some gene therapy trials uh, within the next year or two. And what's this condition called? It's called Crevet disease. And how can it be avoided? Um, newborn screening at birth. Um, they can test for some enzyme levels and uh, catch it early enough for treatment. Okay. Emmett has his own channel, and so we're going to have a link to that, to their GoFundMe program. The care, as you can see, is 24-7 and intensive. And also we have a link to Hunter's Hope, which is, which is the organization that will provide you with the kit for newborn screening if your state is not already doing screening for crab A's. I just learned this fairly recently, but um, we got super parents here, like incredibly super parents. Um, he was not supposed to be with us still, and they have not given up hope for you never know what can happen. And we thought, I thought, I'll just say I thought, I think mama knew that there, he was there all along. Um, I thought there was no way to communicate that there was nothing going on, but he hears, he understands, and he can actually now answer with all he's got left is the ability to blink. Huh, buddy? Yes, it's okay. So one blink is a... Is a yes. Is a yes. I don't know if you caught that. Mom's gonna ask a question or two. Hey, Emmett. You wanna tell Dr. Paul about what you've been learning t lately? Have you been learning Braille? Yes. Do you like Braille? Oh, wow, I'm surprised. Usually you say no. <laughs> <laughs> that was a big yes. That was a big yes. Okay. And this morning you were listening to Cars with Lightning McQueen. Do you like that? Yeah. Some answers are quicker than others. Mm -hmm. Okay, what about um, the hepatitis B vaccine? Hepatitis B has 250 micrograms of aluminum. Okay. Quite a bit. That is, uh, that's way too much. You know the drill, tell people what you're doing. Yes, I will. This is Silvadine, silver, 
sulfadiazine. Say that five times fast. For burns to prevent them from getting infected. I like to put it on it's like frosting. Hurt. See that? Mm -hmm. That is frosting level sulfadiazine application. So I'm just creating a little bulky pad here uh -huh. so that we don't have pressure. Can I hide and see? 